got it to the graphic part. Sure you're like, what the hell is he doing? Why is he trying to move that thing? He's trying to get it close here so I can get some fuel. I had to go out of town for some uh, urgent family business and uh, I didn't get the truck moved in time. I had the uh, the old Raider sitting right here. It's, uh, I just got sick of showing it to people. And I had it for sale. Um, I wanted to get the truck moved over here so that I could uh, get some of my fuel stash out when I needed it. But then it snowed. So I kind of waited for the ground to harden up. And... Uh, it seemed like it was going good at first there, but what made it worse is I, when I came home, I, I took the uh, snowblower and made all these little paths so I could walk around and um, stuff like that. So I was just, uh, you know, carrying five gallon jugs over from there to the side of the house there, and uh, I was getting kind of sick of that, so... The Raider actually started right up the other day and uh, drove right out of there, no problem. It was actually, that day there was even a little more snow because we had a warm up on the weekend and I melted some stuff, but. Yeah. I said, you know what? Back the radar right out here. 
you know, it's one of those times where, you know, I'm, I'm not here and uh, someone came by with a little, uh, one of those little Kubotas with the bucket and stuff and just, um, you know, thought they were helping out, which, you know, I'm grateful for. I still don't know who it was. Someone that lives around here. Um, but, you know, sometimes you kind of know your yard and you know where you want to put the snow and where you don't. And, uh, they came in here and just started pushing the snow everywhere. They uh, made a big pile right there behind the camper where I wanted to park the trailer. And, uh, came in here and pushed the snow right up close to that guy's place. I don't know. It's not too good. But no one said anything. Uh, at first, the first storm, he, my wife sent me a picture. He put a pile of snow, I mean, right here, right over the tongue of the trailer. And it, you couldn't even see the trailer at one point. Like I said, uh, we lost a lot of snow in the last week, but you couldn't even, you could see a little bit of that fender, but, and it wasn't the, the road guys, obviously you're going to get that bank from the road, you know, and I can't do nothing about that, which is another thing I wanted to have this trailer moved over to there before, but I couldn't. So, then uh, the second storm, he came back and he kind of moved this pile out of the way and then he put it right here. Now, I mean, you drive by here and you know, you see the way I park stuff and I use this as a parking spot, you know, for the trailers and such, but uh, I don't know why you wouldn't push that pile back but he left it right there. So, kind of messed things up, but like I said, you can't say nothing because, you know, you, you, you gotta be thankful someone helps you out, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I'd like to find the guy to say thanks, but I'd also like to say, you know, please don't do it because you know, it actually made more work for me because I came in, you know, with the snowblower and had to spend a whole day chewing away at that pile over there and all, all here so that I could make room to uh, drive in and out of here and park trucks and such. So, <clears throat> why am I saying in such? I don't know. I've never said that before. It's kind of weird when you pick up the camera, you say weird things. I don't know. So, yeah, the Raider, uh, you know, as I said before, the pump doesn't work. I think it just, the pump's junk itself on there. Kind of expensive, so. Uh, the way I have it chained up there is, uh, that's just where it sits. So, I just started uh, ramming at the pile, and... That moved it pretty good. So I figured I might as well just leave it out here because uh, if you get a big bank at the end or something, you can just push it out of the way at least. It's better than nothing. It's, uh, even with the biggest snowblower, you know how, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, move, you know, that huge uh, pile that the town leaves there. So. Uh, yeah, everyone kicked the tires and wanted to uh, talk for hours about it, but, you know, as usual. But, uh, no one pulled the trigger, so, yeah, I'm glad I can sit right there.
I don't care about your winter. I'm my steak. I'm going to cook my chicken. Don't care. I'm going to have my steak. And I'm going to have my chicken. 